vast crowds gathered in New Delhi on the eve of the departure of two sincere friends of India, Earl and Countess Mountbatten. Making their way through the huge throng, their excellencies received the grateful farewells of the Indian people, whose affectionate regard has upheld them through all the strenuous months of office. The same warm-hearted feelings marked the farewell banquet given by the Indian cabinet. Here, on behalf of His Majesty the King, Lord Mountbatten presented a set of ten magnificent pieces of gold plate, which have been at Government House since 1930. The day of departure, too, was one that both Lord and Lady Mountbatten will long remember. With traditional ceremony, the state landor with its cavalry escort left Government House, and once again the people themselves added a personal farewell. Surging forward to the carriage doors, they shouted their parting good wishes and Godspeed. And so to the airport itself. The final round of goodbyes and India's last Viceroy and first Governor General was ready to return home. While the plane was still on its way to Britain, Lord Mountbatten's successor, Mr. Raja Gopalachari, was officially sworn in. The first Indian Governor General of the Dominion of India. 48 hours after the departure from Delhi came the arrival at Northhold Airport. Among the welcoming party was the Duke of Edinburgh, nephew of Lord Mountbatten, and recently appointed personal ADC to the King. A further greeting came from the Prime Minister, Mr. Attlee, and later came an inspection of a guard of honour from the Royal Indian Navy. Lord Mountbatten then spoke of his feelings on the completion of his task. My wife, my daughter, my staff, and I, in fact all our party, are naturally glad to be back home. But at the same time, we were extremely sad to leave India. A postscript was then added by Lady Mountbatten. There must be inevitable sadness at having left a country we've come so close to, and a people who've shown us such unbelievable confidence and generosity and affection. The end of a memorable mission and one that has earned the lasting thanks and goodwill of the new India.